Hello, my name is John Walsh, and I am so glad that you decided to join us in our Bible telling seminar in Israel. There's sometimes a misconception that this is just a regular Holy Land tour. Well, we are going to the Holy Land, and we will be touring, but this is really a step above. This is a seminar, and because of that, you're going to be going places that most tours don't go. We have eliminated all of the non-biblical sites, which, by the way, there are some wonderful non-biblical sites, and so we have given you a, a free days for you to go to some of those. But in our regular time together, we have eliminated all of the non-biblical sites and concentrated only on those sites that are in the Bible. Consequently, we'll be going places, like I said, that other people don't go. But because it's a seminar, there is some preparation. So we decided to make these films so I can just sit here and chat with you a little bit and help prepare you for what is about to happen. We'll have a film clip that will give you things you need to do before you get onto the airplane. Uh, some preparation, some things to do. We have another film clip that'll prepare you for when you get off of the airplane and what exactly you need to do. We'll have a film clip on how to prepare and learn a story and prepare to tell it. Then we'll give you a day-by-day -day happening. We'll have a map and we'll take you around to the various places that we are scheduled to go to and tell you some of the things that we hope to see. These films were made several years ago. Still, most of it is quite relevant. I'm going to break in every, every now and then and kind of update it a, a bit. You can tell by the little bit, bit different background when, when I'm doing this. Uh, what we're doing in the set of films is we're taking a typical trip. Every trip is a little bit different. But it falls a somewhat of the same outline. So when we say we're going to be somewhere on day one or day two, we may not be there during that day, but at least this will give you an idea of what a trip would look like. In addition to that, uh, like I'll say throughout this film, you need to be flexible. Because even when we send you the information, tell you exactly where we're going to be on what day and what we're going to do, uh, we can't always control that. Uh, weather may change. Uh, 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 you may have traffic problems. Sometimes they'll just close down an entire site just because of some festival that's going on, and we can't control that. So flexibility is the main thing that you have to understand here. Also, throughout these films, I talk about us, uh, me being there. That's not always the case. Uh, I'll say, I'll see you in Jerusalem. I'm only trying to, with, for the sake of the films, to give you a sense that we're doing this together. Uh, I may not be there, but still you'll have a fantastic trip whether I, I'm there or not. Uh, as I said, we'll send you information about your trip and what's all going to happen. Make the preparations. Watch these films. We'll give you ideas of things to do. Follow those things. Uh, years ago, I was told back when I was in college that if you take a trip to Israel, you need to prepare. And most people don't. They don't prepare. By following the guidelines that we'll give you and the suggestions that are out there, you'll be far ahead of most people who go to Israel. So, watch the films, make the preparations, and I'll see you in Jerusalem.